lovelies you're welcome back to reviews and recaps let's get into today's video today we're going to be talking about a lot of things we're going to be talking about melody sheree we're going to be talking about don mitchell we're going to be talking about some other love and marriage huntsville updates so if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button right next to it so that you can get all the notifications every single time that i post and everyone please like share and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below now let's get into today's video so as you guys already know love and marriage huntsville is coming back soon um and they posted a synopsis of what season eight episode one is going to look like the episode is being called arrested redevelopment interesting i already know it's about to be some mess so i'm going to read it it says the fallout from mattel's arrest begins with melody increasing security around her home after hearing the news tisha finds destiny was betrayed by somebody in their inner inner circle melody's event get gets crashed what is going on with my reading today my unexpected guest okay you all know i don't really care too much about the others but we'll talk about the others too but let's start with melody the fallout from mattel's arrest begins with melody increasing security around her home after hearing the news now this is crazy to me and i'll tell you why the reason i feel like this is nuts is the fact that like it almost feels like they don't really care about melody safety we've talked about it a lot you guys know we all agree we all feel the same way about this but what i thought was interesting shout out to money making melody fan page uh, because that's where i got this information from and i'm also going to read something that she posted on her page that i feel like we need to talk about she says synopsis is out for the first episode of season eight do you think it's unethical for own tv and kingdom reign entertainment to film Mel feeling unsafe around her ex-husband, whom she filed a DV charge for harassment on, but yet keep him on the show? Is this what a network who supposedly caters to black women should promote? And the answer is absolutely not. It is extremely unethical for this to be okay. Like the woman does not feel safe around him. She does not feel safe in his presence the fact that she had to go get security increase the security around her home do you not know how serious this is because i know like people are like oh she's just being dramatic well some people right they always feel like oh millimeters are supporting mel and all these kind of stuff but guys let's be serious for a second this is some serious issues the man has been in her personal space publicly. People had to push him away. He's been verbally aggressive towards this woman constantly on the TV show, right? We've seen it happen. We can't even be like, oh, these things weren't captured on TV because they were. The cameras were there and captured some of them. Now, I'm sure there were other incidents that were never captured by the cameras. So imagine how many more of those incidents probably have happened and exist that's the first thing if you guys remember there was a time where melody was she put on her story that she was learning self-defense shout out to empress radio she was the one that reminded me when i was listening to her earlier because i remember like she had posted something on her story talking about like self-defense and i know that it's something i covered on this channel so you guys can go back and watch yourself um but think about it if she was not fearing for her safety would she inc increase the security? Would she try to learn self-defense classes or try to learn self-defense and take self-defense classes? Of course not. And so to have to work alongside someone like that in the same work environment is insane to me. And it's weird that the network aren't doing anything. It almost seems like nobody cares for the safety of other people. Now, if you guys want to find out more about some of the specifics that i've talked about on this channel regarding toxic work environments i've covered a story recently about that so go check that out i also covered another story with winter um covering queen sheba's interview so you guys go watch that it's on my channel now before i continue we've hit 2000 subscribers thank you so much everyone i really appreciate you guys 
I know someone is probably listening and thinking, oh, it's just 2000. To me, it absolutely means a whole lot more than you think. I really appreciate it. Like when I wanted to start YouTube, it was one of those things where I was kind of like, I enjoy doing reviews and recaps. I enjoy giving commentary. Let me do this. You know, I did this with no expectations. And I just thank you all for pretty much making my dreams come true. So it's like now I have 2000 of you guys all around the world and I couldn't be more happier. Like I said, I do want to give back to you guys. So let me know any suggestions that you have for me to be able to give back. Would you prefer like a gift receipt or some sort? Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, we can do like a giveaway very, very soon. Now back on track to what we're talking about. Chit chat with cutie. Shout out to you. She left a comment on Money Making Melody fan page. And I agree with it. She's like, they don't give a damn about male safety. They would rather she quit the show than fire Mattel. And this is the thing. It's insane. I'm like, how can you not see the value of this woman and how you should rally around her and be supportive in this moment? But then you will do the same or you would do that for Mr. Mattel. Like that is insane to me. And it's it's beyond mad. So let's move on to the second thing I wanted to cover in this video. Let's talk about the Love and Marriage Huntsville trailer that came out. Now, did you guys see Masso basically saying to Melody that that's the dude she chose to have three kids with? I think for me, what got me was I was like, wait, Masso, are you saying you don't know how many children that Melody has? We all know Melody has four children. So are you trying to give some credence to what Mattel was insinuating when he was on Tasha K's interview about the paternity of, I honestly don't even want to say her name. She's such a beautiful baby, like of one of the kids. We all know Masso is sassy. And I feel like Masso knows dying well that she has four children. So I don't believe it was a slip of tongue. I don't believe it was like, oh, I omitted. Oh, I'm so sorry. I meant four. Dude, you know she has four children. So no, it's unacceptable for you to insinuate that she has three children. It's almost like you're trying to give credence to the rumor that potentially one of the kids in, in Mattel's. Like, what the heck is that? And this is what I mean about the disrespectfulness that a lot of the shows that Carlos has or does or produces has. And I say that because let, let, let me give you an example. Winter gave an example of how the men were basically coming at her, right? At a reunion, they were coming at her really aggressively. That was encouraged. There was even a producer at the background being like, get it, get, get her, get her, get her, right? Think about it, right? What is there for Maso and Melody to be talking about? What is there for them to talk about, right? But instead, it almost feels like the men are placed in positions to be in women's business. Like, if you also think about Tiffany being brought over there to talk to the men, like, what was that about? You can't tell me that those things were not in some way managed by the producers, it's very disappointing that it's looking like it's going to be another let's pick on Melody situation. I honestly hope that it is just this little short trailer and they're just trying to get people to watch and it's not going to be the all focus of the show. But if it's if this is going to be the focus of the show, I feel like more people are just going to be tired of it and just be like, let's end it. Now, the other thing that made me gag is the fact that Mattel referred to himself as a nice guy. Oh, nice guys. We nice guys. We get the short end of the stick. You are a nice guy? Come off it. You can't be serious, sir. And this is the thing. I feel like not saying that Mattel is a narcissist because I don't have the credentials to diagnose him, but he does behave like one if he's not one, right? He does behave like one because what is this whole Mr. Nice Guy persona? A lot of narcissists are obsessed with their personas. So, I'm just like, what is this persona that you've created for yourself that is far from reality? Because nobody in their right mind will describe you as a nice guy. Well, maybe except Kimmy, but is she in her right mind? 
Well, that is to be determined because truly, who in their right mind will label Mattel Holt a nice guy? Like, are we serious? Is the is the bar in the toilet? Like, is the bar in hell? Like, I, I just don't understand. He needs to just give this whole nice guy act a rest. Nobody cares about it. Nobody believes it. Let it go, sir. We don't believe you. You're not a nice person not a nice person isn't it funny right like in real life right the people that are always calling themselves oh i'm so nice i'm such a sweet person they're always the most horrible disgusting terrible human beings it's like why do you have all these like energy right like you're like oh i'm such a nice person like why would i feel the need to say to you all that i'm nice you guys will just find out that i'm nice but if i'm constantly every given opportunity even when it doesn't matter oh nice guys we nice women we nice shush and get over yourself that being said let's move on to the next thing i wanted to talk to you guys about today don michelle claps back at stormy steel and destiny payton so if you guys have not watched the previous video that i did where i was talking about stormy steel and destiny payton you guys go and watch it right because i really break it down i talk about it but just to give you a little bit of a recap stummy posted a random story that no one was expecting talking about random but i'm waiting on destiny payton to come with this big d energy bad b season loading right and then destiny decides to respond and say less less was said i'm like girl sit your ass down Nobody is anticipating your return, but Stormy still. Now, I have talked about Storm um, Destiny, and I've said that I will give her a chance if she comes on this season correct with better energy. But if she doesn't, I'm going to be giving her all the smoke this season. So I feel like I'm being fair. Now, just to give give a disclaimer, if she does try to come for Melody Cherie i will not be tolerating that because i would hope that after everything melody has done for you mama if you come back on the show come back with some respect come back level-headed if you come on some beef thing, i feel like everybody's gonna be all out for you this season so if you like come correct if you like don't come correct i just don't want to hear nobody crying on instagram talking about people who are like going in on them i'm not one of those people that go too far I will call out behavior, but I don't be going too far. But anyways, back to Dawn Michelle. Dawn basically then went on her Instagram and said, it's been less. I'm like, oops. I personally feel like that is a direct dig at Stormy and Destiny. It's like, you all don't bring nothing to the show. It been less. There ain't nothing you're bringing to the show that we ain't seen before, okay? So no one is anticipating your return. That's what I think, but... Let me know what you guys think because you guys might feel like, oh, girl, you are dragging it. It's not that serious. But let me tell you, she put that bean less in caps lock. That bean was in caps lock. So I'm just saying it's given a response. That's all I got to talk to you guys about today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button right next to it. So, you know, every single time that I post everyone, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Don't forget to share. Let's continue the conversation in the chat. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.